All right, so I need an incubator. My neighbor's selling this out. It's a uh, wine chiller. Nice and clean glass door, stainless. So what I did was I took everything out. And I moved all the cooling stuff out of it from the back. I did leave the fans in the inside, and um, two little cooling units, because since it was a divider, it was separating the two. I, uh, you can see some pink in there. I put a little R8 in it, R8 foam, blocked it off, duct taped it on. That's all it really needs. Uh, I grabbed this fan, I tracked these wires for this fan, I tracked the wires for that fan, <clears throat> and I uh, grabbed an old 1 amp 12 volt DC plug, and uh, soldered it up. So my plan, my master plan to do this was, you know, I want, it's, it's, a, it's, it's tall, so I figured I should... Have some air circulation and I lucked out because this piece of garbage is going to end up being hopefully a really good incubator. I'm waiting on uh, aluminum tape because I'm going to do aluminum tape and tighten everything up. Aluminum tape will actually work because more of a, produce more heat as well. It would be more of a, it'll be heat sink. Um, so what I did was I used four inch heat tape. And I started here, you can see the wire cutting it through there, and I got it out the back so it looks factory on the outside. So this is the power wire that's going to go to the herbstat, <clears throat> goes in on both sides, had to go across, and then had to go across just like so it was one full loop, you know, so it goes up and across, over, down, down, across, and back. <clears throat> I'll keep it simple. The thing has a really nice glass door, so when the eggs hatch, I can see them. And uh, I'll be able to keep multiple, multiple humidity and temperature gauges so that I know that this thing's keeping a consistent temp. Well, this thing's well built. Well built. It's got very nice gaskets on the doors. <clears throat> it's got a nice thick glass door. Um, I still have to drill holes for the... Uh, Probes. I'm going to do multiple probes, multiple digital thermostats on the outside, including the probe for the herbstat, and then I'm going to be doing the uh, multiple inside. But I'll show you what it looks like. So, my master plan will be is I'll probably put something over here on this bottom rack that will just hold some water in it, just so that there's a little extra humidity in here. These tubs, I don't know. I'm going to try to find something that I like a little bit better. But for now, this tub will work. Grab that bad boy, throw that in there. And there's our second one. And that's it. I'm waiting for, so I said, a new thermostat, digital thermostat. Uh, I found a, one for 28 bucks that... Only had a thousand reviews. That was pretty much all four and a half, four to five stars. It was four and a half on Amazon, so I can adjust it by the decimal to 0.1. So I plan on setting the thermostat to probably around uh, 89.1 to 89.5. I did test it with the uh, just the. But there's this cheap one, Zillow one. And surprisingly, I was actually able to keep it between 89. I was it was it would turn on at 80 88.2 and turn off at 89.8. So uh, it did hit 90.4 after it would turn off, but then it would kind of just balance out, and it was doing about a 15 minute cycle, I would say. Um, so in in reality. That would be fine for uh, 
for a uh, incubator setup, especially for my ball pythons. But <clears throat> I want to be more precise. But nice and clean, looks good. Let me turn it around. Yeah. All right, so you'll see in the pictures that I, I I took this back plate off, and I just totally gutted it. Um, I'm gonna do some more cleaning on it. But what's nice now is the little condensation tray is now my DC tray that I just for an old router. I'll use that for my, uh, that's what's for my fans, keep some air circulation going, because I want to do air circulation because the tank is tall, I mean the, the incubator is tall, and with the air circulation, since heat rises, the top won't be hotter than the bottom. Here's my plug for my uh, heat tape, and uh, We'll see how she goes. I should be having some eggs in about a month, so uh, we'll do some more test runs. But pretty confident with the with the with the cheap one, it worked fine. So uh, we'll see how it is when I get the uh, more advanced uh, con controller. Well, I'm gonna put some pictures on in the end, step by step of how I did it, and uh, hopefully you guys like it. But. Overall, now I got a custom, pretty solid incubator for uh, total cost is going to cost me with the herb stat and everything, heat tape, cable. I use the fans that are with it. It's going to cost me maybe fifty bucks for everything, so I'll take it.